I remember watching Doctor Who when I was little and always thinking that it was it was crazy cool and now I have had the opportunity to sort of take part in sort of a timey-wimey adventure. We're here to chat about Paper Girls, awesome new Prime series uh, coming uh, Friday, July 29th. I think I said that right. Um, Paper Girls is a sci-fi series uh, about a group of Paper Girls who accidentally, inadvertently wind up time traveling and uh, all the kind of crazy adventures they get into. Uh, would love to ask you um, uh, what your favorite part uh, of being in the show was and playing your character, Mac. Ooh, well, I think, well, one of my favorite parts of being in the show is, I mean, just time travel has my heart. I love time travel. And I think that that was, that was really exciting. I, I remember watching Doctor Who when I was little and always thinking that it was, it was crazy cool, and now I have had the opportunity to sort of take part in sort of a timey-wimey adventure. Um, so I would say that would be one of my favorite parts. And about Mac, I, I love Mac. I love her from the comic book series, and I love the way that they wrote her for the adaptation. And I, I was just I'm very grateful and honored that they trusted me with such material. That's awesome. It's so funny. I was going to ask one of my questions was going to be, do, do you have like a favorite time travel movie or TV show? I guess, would you say Doctor Who or? Yeah, I would say Doctor Who would be one of them. Um, if I had to choose another one as far as a movie, sure. I would probably say Nicholas Meyer's Time After Time. Okay. Yeah, that with Malcolm McDowell, isn't it? Okay. Right. I would, I would say maybe that would be one of my favorites. Very cool. I know there's another one that's right in the back of my mind and I, I just can't put my finger on it. <laughs> I feel that way too. Like I was, when I was thinking about that question for my, I was thinking about that question. I was like, what would I say? And I'm like, I feel like it's a cop out to say back to the future, but also like back to the future is kind of a classic. So I guess back to the future. <laughs> I'm going to say paper girls, paper yeah. girls, my favorite time travel. That's right. A good way to go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, such a great cast. Awesome uh, people that you got to work with there. What was it like to work with Ali Wong as as older Aaron? She seems like she was probably a lot of fun, right? Oh yeah, she was. She was just. She was infectious. She was. She was just. She's so kind and and warm, and she's just hilarious. And I I, I adore her performance. I think she is just well, wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, she's fantastic. I mean, every, the whole cast is fantastic. You guys are all great. Um, uh, one thing I'd love to ask you is uh, um, for fans who have, you know, maybe not read the comic or aren't, aren't you know, familiar. Um, uh, do you feel like the show is going to is going to appeal to people who maybe haven't read the comic or what would you say to someone who's like, I haven't read that. I don't know about that to still want them to enjoy the show. All right. So I would, I would probably give sort of a, a brief summary of the plot. Sure. And one thing about the show is that I think it holds, it can hold the interest of a fan of the comic books series, uh, a fan of the comic books. And um, it, I think it will also be able to let in new fans. And it does a really good job, I think, of explaining the whole situation and while still taking some creative liberties and changing certain things just to keep actual, you know, fans of the comic book interested. Yeah. Now, you know what? I agree with you. I, I had a chance to watch it and, and I watched it with my family and, and I'm the only one who's read the comic and they all were deeply enthralled and, and loved it and were connected to the characters. And, and my youngest, uh, who's nine years old, absolutely loved Mac. So I just need to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope he doesn't repeat the language. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, yeah. We'll be very careful about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sophia, listen, it was really wonderful to be able to chat with you today. I appreciate it. Uh, again, Paper Girls, uh, uh, Amazon Prime Video, Friday, July 29th. Very excited to be chatting with everyone today. How are you guys? We're doing great. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. But I know you guys have been sitting for like tons of these. So yeah. I'm sure it gets exhausting after a while. 
<laughs> I know, I've been sitting up so straight. <laughs> I have that problem too. Yes, back back pain is uh, it's a real thing. Um, oh, Paper sure. Girls, very exciting. It's awesome. I'm video series. But you guys are all in. Yes. Is- yeah, um, we are. <laughs> I don't, are. Are you guys? Are I, you guys I, don't, I don't think I'm I, not in it. I'm I just really think, excited to watch what, it. What is that? I've, I've read the comics. I feel like I saw at least one of them. so it. spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> all these people have been asking us so many questions about the show. And we're like, <laughs> what? We're not, we're not in it. it. What is what that? We don't even know what that is. <laughs> What's paper? We though? don't know her. I would like to ask you guys uh, what your favorite part of the series is. Fina, I would love to start with you. My favorite part of the series. Uh, I love episode five. Episode awesome. five is incredible. You get like a taste of everything in episode five. You get the big action scenes. You get the heartfelt moments. You get the, you get the drama. You get the comedy. And there are just a lot of unique moments that, that shine. From, from episode five. Yeah, I think episode five was fun to watch and overall just fun to film. It was so fun to film. You'll yeah. laugh, you'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> I think five was amazing. I'm torn six. between five and six. Yeah. Because okay. six was so much fun to film for me. Okay. And I think for all of us, really, because yeah. I loved filming with these guys, of course. But six was so cool because there were a lot of elements in it that were visually and aesthetically pleasing to me. And five was just really, really cool and well-rounded as like a whole, I feel. Yeah. Right on. And it's funny, like we have to be very careful not to like give anything away. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. super easy to spoil this show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you've all found that out. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Riley, I would like to ask you what it was like to work with with Ali Wong as as the older you and how that dynamic was for you on set. Yeah, it was, I, I learned a lot from Ali. It was just a pleasure being able to work with her. And we bonded a lot on set, um, mostly about food because we both <laughs> love to eat. And it was I, I had so much fun playing off of her and being able to craft this character, Aaron. That's awesome. Um, one thing that, that I asked Sophia when I got to chat with her was I asked her what her favorite uh, sort of time travel movie, TV show, anything like that was. And I would like to ask you guys the same question. Cameron, would you start? I mm, Time travel? Yeah. Anything, what show, TV series, you know, uh, uh, movie. I probably have to say the Back to the Future franchise because it's a classic. Yes. Can't go wrong. It's a classic. It is a classic. Fina, do you have a favorite? I love Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Oh man! Or would Austin Powers International like count because they they get frozen and then they go to to the future? You know, oh, I feel God. like, like then, it's technically then the Captain time America. The would time count. has passed, but you know, to to them, they they've kind of traveled because they haven't experienced the thirty years. If we're doing I that, then that's... Captain America would count. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Is that yours? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're talking, if, if that counts, then yeah. yes. Captain if America. You're, if, you're talking about, like, if you're talking about being like frozen in time, does Avatar: The Last Airbender count? Because like I love like how we're all just like. Bending. I know because at the time, at, like he was he was frozen in a, in a ball. <laughs> well, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Also, um, I think I think I think the Umbrella Academy is also really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Paper Girls is definitely a great show for fans of the Umbrella Academy, right? People who loved Umbrella Academy, they're going to love Paper Girls. Like, mm-hmm. we hope. The, the dynamics are very similar. I mean, there's a lot of awesome, exciting action, great characters. You guys are just, like, having fun on screen, it seems like. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, That's I really... Right. Maybe not our characters are having... A well, <laughs> like we're happy to we are. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I we know, love I mean, watching yeah. them suffer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're not necessarily. That's a fair point. Suffering. Yeah, that's mm, yeah. And t- emotionally. Oh yeah. yeah. We yeah. Okay. That one. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. I really appreciate it. the show. is fantastic. Very excited about it, and uh, uh, thank you so much. So we are here to chat about Paper Girls, uh, awesome Prime series uh, based on comic book by Brian K. Vaughn and Cliff Chang. Uh, sci-fi, I- time travel. Um, there's so much going on and, and I want to be careful not to spoil anything. Um, but I, I do want to ask Adina is, is this the beginning of your action film career? Because you <laughs> hit so much ass in this show. Oh, you were too kind. <laughs> um, sure. Uh, I want you in the next Mission Impossible, the next John yes. Wick. Come on. That, oh my gosh. It's you you versus Keanu in the next John Wick. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. But luckily I've got some other projects in the world. Before, <laughs> before that. Point, which before is good. That. You, so I, I mean, you've done, yeah, I was going to say you've done, I mean, you did, you were on the 100. I mean, you've done, you've done a lot of genre work, but this show, especially just kind of, there's something different about it when, when you're filming. I mean, what for you was maybe your favorite part of being part of Paper Girls? That Priorus um, not just doesn't just use her brawn to get people to do what she needs them to do is that she's a smart ass warrior. Mm. And, and, and uh, she plays head trips. Not that I know anything about that. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I, I, I like to mess with people's heads. <laughs> Jason, I want to ask was, uh, I, I, again, want to be careful not to spoil too much, but I do want to ask, was this your favorite uh, um, sort of costuming you got to do? Because uh, it was great. It was great. Show up, camo shorts and a Tupac shirt. I was it like, was perfect. Yes. Also, especially because we shot in Chicago in the summer. So it was very hot. Oh. It was very hot. So I was so delighted that I could just be wearing shorts, a T-shirt and, and Birkenstocks every day <laughs> really because it out. was like comfortable, you know, um, <laughs> so that I mean, because yeah, I mean, I, I would the Adina was wearing the, you know, uh, the, I'll the, say what I was wearing. But it but was sure wearing not. stuff was wearing stuff that I suspect was a lot less breathable <laughs> than what I was wearing. <laughs> let's, let's leave it at that. Adina, I want to ask you, so. One of the things that that people say a lot about uh, a show like The Walking Dead is that it's a lot less about the zombies. It's a lot more about the people in those situations. And I felt that way about Paper Girls, that it's really a lot less about the sci fi. And it's a lot more about those like intimate moments between characters and those like very personal revelations and things like that. Is that something you would say about Paper Girls or am I just kind of. No, absolutely. Um. I love the fact that we're talking about girls coming of age, getting their period for the first time, what that means. I think it's sad in 2022 that talking about in public getting your period is still a, like, a, like a surprise, a taboo. Oh my God, we, we, we're going there when women have been getting their periods at 12 for since the beginning of time. Wait, is that right? <laughs> and we're just getting around and talking about it now. No, can that, wait, be, wait can that be true? I it's never crazy. heard any of this. <laughs> so, it, it, but I, when I was reading the comic book and 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 that being part of it, and just um, uh, it was, it's it, quite, quite honestly, it's kind of like you know when I was younger and watching television, and a black person would come on, and I was like, it's a big deal, you know. And, and so um, I hope that for my grandchildren, it will not be a big deal, but uh, I, um, it, and that's not the, all that this story is about, but it is a, a large thing that happens in a, a, a woman's life. Yeah. And um, I'm glad it, it's explored. Absolutely, absolutely. Perfect, that's a perfect place to end. Thank you guys very much for, for the opportunity to chat today. Paper Girls is coming to Amazon Prime July 29th. 29th. Right? Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yep. Take care.